winning order at two minutes is three, one, two, four. Running order at four minutes is three, four, one, two. Right, so big question which is the better one? Well, to be honest, um, it is pretty tough. They are, I would say, the two slightly different cars in the way that they drive. The Dirt Master is a very sort of nimble, aggressive, fast, nippy little thing. The Genova, with its longer wheelbase, it's very easy to drive. Um, when you look at the wheelbase on them, you've got probably an inch, maybe not quite an inch extra on it. Um, it was just easy to drive, it's smooth, went over the jumps well and this went over the jumps probably a little bit better. They were both just box settings so there as the instructions tell you build them so every shock hole position, turnbuckles, everything's done as the instructions. Uh, the shock oil, I think I went 500 up front 450 at the rear or it may have been 400 350 at the rear um 
this would have just wanted to have been a little bit stiffer, a little bit lower. Um, and the Genova, it'll have the kit stuff in. The only thing I found was that the front shocks and this rear one, they've weeped a bit of oil. Um, but I've had to put some more spaces in the front just so it would keep bringing up the front. But um, yeah, I think equally, if you were looking at buying one and you're gonna race, if you like an easy car to drive, go for the G-Force. If you like a, a nimble car, that's probably more in liking with the old vintage cars. I'd say this one, as the Dirt Master has got just the slight little edge. Um, electric wise, they both had the same electrics. So they've both got former P1 motors, 10 and a half turn, both got the same ESCs, the uh, Hobby Wing XR10 Pro, same servo, same receiver, same batteries, same tires. So we run on grass, as you can probably tell by the uh, state of them. So on the backs, ballistic buggy, green tires, Schumacher cut staggers in yellow. There was literally just one set of tires per car. I wasn't going to be buying multiple tires, mini spikes, etc. As the as the day went on, you would look at going from these to a mini spike. Uh, as the track sort of dried out, this got to the the stage where it was just beginning to get grip roll. Um, the Genova was absolutely flawless again as well. So in the race, there was me and one of the other guys, James Hodgson. So a big thank you for running the Genova. Um, obviously, if you watch that, I am hanging around for him. Obviously, it's the first time he's ever driven this car. Um, I'd driven this for one practice before um, but yeah if I had to pick a winner it's that one all day long um, over here obviously in the UK parts availability it's gonna be a lot easier getting parts for a Kyosho than it will be for a Genova um, I've not looked at how easy it is to get all the spares but I know Amazon I think it's Amazon Japan you can get the car if it's got spares on there, it'll literally be three or four days apparently before it comes. But uh, I was absolutely smitten with this. If I had to pick one, that's what I'd be going for. So the only thing that I changed, not drastically, was I got rid of the clips on the back. So I just undid them, turned around, Velcro on the bottom. So it's a lot easier to get the shell off. That's purely all it was for. Uh, makeshift battery strap. Because I've got the ESC with the fan on, the original battery strap goes down all the way into the back and tucks in. I'd have to remove the fan, but I didn't want to. I thought I can just get a piece of carbon, make a strap to hold the battery in. Um, but because I don't know what's going to happen with this car yet, I would like to keep it and the Genova, but I can't have cars sat there that aren't going to be doing anything. Um, but yeah, out of the box, the drop test, it is very good. Wanted to be just a little bit lower, a little bit stiffer, and it would be a great car. Obviously, wet grass, first thing is morning, it was slightly wet, fresh grass. These tyres, rear motor, really good traction, um, but it just turned that little bit better. The Genova lacked a little bit of steering uh traction wise it was absolutely fine but yeah the only thing that i need to look at is when you back off the slipper the nook looks as though it's coming right up to the end so you may have to like just spin it around and put the nylock bit in first um and the slipper on the genova getting that out and back in isn't as easy as it is on this Little things that mean nothing. Um, I do like, you've got a full motor guard on the back there. So if anyone was to hit, hit you from behind, you've got the motor guard taking it. Whereas the Genova, it's just the back half of the motor is just slightly exposed. But 
absolutely cracking day. Uh, it's good to get them both out. So now I just need to uh, get these cleaned up. And then, uh, yeah, like I say, sadly the Genova probably won't stay with me. And then the Dirt Master, I've got to make my mind up because you can't really run it with the vintage cars in the vintage classes because the cutoff is 99. And obviously the original car from this, it was 2004, 2005. Um, most clubs, our club especially, if you've got something that's rear motor and is an old car, so you're old, I can't remember what Cougar it is, I think it's the KR, that was a rear motor one. They're not going to begrudge you running it, um, purely with the fact that you're running it, you're having fun, doing what these cars are designed for. But uh, yeah, your big iconic Lakeland Classic events like that, you wouldn't be able to run this purely because the cutoff is, I believe it's 99. Uh, it may change. I know it's changed slightly for the four-wheel drives, but until it changes to the two-wheel drives, I don't know when I'm going to be able to run this. Um, I normally run the Cougar at the club. That's my go-to car. That's currently still getting clean from the uh, Robin Hood event last weekend, the Robin Hood Classic. But yeah, that's it. So I hope you've enjoyed this video. Um, if you're looking at buying either of these cars, Take your pick. If you want something that's going to be a little bit easier for spares, I'd probably see your Kyosho as the one. But performance-wise, I think this one has the edge. Um, just seem that a little bit more track orientated than the Genova. Obviously, this is on grass, not on carpet. On carpet, it may be a completely different kettle of fish. Um, we don't run on carpet much other than in winter. And I don't know if these will still be here by winter. So thank you for watching. Anything you're not too sure of, anything you want to ask, fire us in the uh, contents, in, in, in the comments. And uh, see you next time. Cheers, guys.